Well, we have a bit of an awkward situation with this podcast because I've noticed that for the last two podcasts, the audio has been terrible. Yes, it is because that um, on the previous podcast, the space between us and the microphone, yeah, we've been too far away from the microphone. Oh, so I think I'd better come in closer then. Yeah, so, yeah, because we don't have um, separate microphones. Okay. Right? You're right. Which, during this entire podcast, I have been asking you the entire time to bring your own microphone, but you never have. No. <laughs> can this thing do two microphones? No, but because of the increase in hardware, we can probably yeah. run it twice. Oh, run it twice. That will be smart. Yes, hmm. yes, I am a smart boy. Yeah. Um, but in saying that, this is the As Yet Undecided podcast with your conflicted host, Mike and Sophie. Yay! And and this is very strange because we are actually recording this on the weekend. Oh, I know. It's this. Is, we're just about to go to the show, No Such Thing as a Fish. So it's the 19th of May, and I'm not too sure when we're going to release this. Yeah, I'm still waiting on you to um, put out... The rest of the podcasts that are in the system. Um, yeah, I already pop, popped up fifty five this today. Oh, have you? Yeah. Okay, cool. So you're wait, you're waiting on me now. Uh, no, I believe I have to pop up fifty six. Oh, that's right. So you got fifty six, and I've got fifty seven, and this is fifty eight. Oh, nice. Yeah. So I'll pop up fifty six soon. Yeah, yeah, but you, you know, because we've been busy with university and all that sort of jazz and disastrous. <laughs> But it's okay. Yeah. Mike's been coming me down like a good friend should. Yes, and... Um, and stop freaking out like my parents. Uh, mental massages? Mental massages. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um... Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, so you went to the pharmacy today, the yes. chemist. Yes. And uh, you, is there something you want to show me? No, no. No, I'm just going to take my pills while we're talking. Okay. What do you think of my dress? It is very hairish. Hairish. Why is that? It's full hair. Be- because it is a long flowing gown, which is exactly like your hair. Thank you. Very long flowing. So I'm like it from the Adams family. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, now, Protector's Food Corner. Bagel Bites. Bagel, ba- bite, bagel, bagel Bites? From Bagel Love. Um, it just says Bagel Love. Ingredients. Wheat flour. Wheat gluten, salt, sugar, yeast, vegetable oil, barley, malt. Contains no additives or preservatives. May contain traces of sesame seeds and cheese. Wait, this is probably the least pretentious of all the pretentious food corners we've done for a little while. Yes, because... Because it does not have like three million descriptors behind it. Um, one. Yeah? It's not gluten free. No, it's not gluten free. But in saying that they is what, what my other podcast would say... Little baby bagels. Little baby bagels, yes. So, at, so at the same at the same time, I did send you some messages this morning um, about fridge running. <laughs> yeah. You were a little bit might have been a little bit confused when I rang you last night. No, 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 no. Um, last week, I think. Last week. Is your fridge running? <laughs> if so, you better go catch it. <laughs> I, I'm sick of that joke, Mike. I, I've heard that joke so many times. <laughs> With that being said, we have a few new things too. Um, this podcast is recorded using an old microphone but a new computer because, well, Mike's a gamer, so he needs a new computer. Um, I, I, I really wouldn't say a gamer, but considering that I've had my laptop for the last six years and it's broken. Longer the tooth. Yes. So please explain your new laptop. And I mean, computer. Hey, before we do that, we better have the bagel bites and we'll geek out afterwards. New laptop? It's a computer. Yes. No, desktop. And it's not like the crap top. It, it's not what I was expecting. Bagel chips? Yeah, yeah, bagel chips, not bagel bites. Because I was, I was expecting little tiny little bagels. Oh. It's my fault. It never said bagel bites. It just says bagel love. Okay. So it's bagel chips here. So. It's super crispy. Pretentious bread 
chips. Okay. Yeah. Now. I should have bought some potatoes dip. Yes, yeah, yeah. You, you, you should have brought up some crushed chickpeas. Mike, are you going to be alright? What's, what are those seeds? They are sesame seeds as per the ingredients. Make them traces of sesame seeds. Yes, I'm assuming that it's the sesame seeds. These are no longer traces. They're, that's full of sesame seeds. Yes. So you guys be, you're going to be alright, right? Yeah, of course. Okay. Well, so I think I might snap my teeth on this. Um, so 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 what? Oh no, I'm okay for now. I guess I'm over. Um, so so the new desktop. Yeah. Has the one of the newest APUs from AMD. If you don't know what AMD is, it is the competitor of Intel. It's the red one. It's the red one. <laughs> right? Mm. And with all chipsets, mm. they come with their own coolers. And this one's actually pretty good. Oh, yeah. Um, so, for, for those techie people out there, this is running off of Ryzen 5 2400U, which is four cores, eight threads. Okay, repeat that again, because I was crunching. Ryzen 5 2400U... Mm-hmm. Four cores, eight threads, running off a um, Asus Prime B three fifty board, mm-hmm. which means it is overclocked at three point nine gigahertz. Oh yes. Instead of the standard three point five, because you can manipulate it in the BIOS. Oh yeah. Um, it has a single channel 8 gigs of RAM mm-hmm. um, running at 2400 megahertz, which I have overclocked to 2933 megahertz. Why 2933? Um, well, it is the highest you can possibly go without it breaking down. Okay. Um, because unfortunately for AMD chips, um, they rely a lot on the RAM, of the, the speed of the RAM, not how much it is. I see. Um, it is running running off a Cooler Master Lite 3.0. Look at all fan. Um, fan. It's fan. Yeah. Um, no, well, that's the case. Um, so it's running off two fans. Oh yes. Um. The, the the cooler and the uh, 12 centimeter one at the back yeah but, but at the same time you can put an extra two fans at the front which I am planning to do three months from now so you can you can have more fans adoring you ha ha, no. ha someone's being really funny um, of course, Mike. I have to be funny right at this moment to prevent myself from getting into thoughts. Yes. So it's been a hard week. So this came and in, in the box for what it is. It did not come with a hard drive. It did not come with an operating system. Oh really? So you had to install everything yourself? Yes. Your Windows ten. How did you get Windows ten without paying for it? I I paid for it. You paid for it. Yes. That's surprising. I know. <laughs> Um, How much was it? Um, hundred and sixty for the home edition. Yeah. Um, but yeah, well, because all I needed was the code. I can make out the media by myself. It's fine. I see. Of the USB by myself, it's fine. As long as you have an internet connection, it's fine. And um, you managed to get Microsoft Office using the AUT account. Yes, that's right. Yep. They get this for AUT, eh? Yes. Very true. Um. So what I've done is that I brought a M.2 SSD. Oh, yeah. And Sophie doesn't actually know what that looks like. Because it's in the, in the box. Yes, it is not a two and a half inch um, drive, SSD drive. It is, uh, I will show you after the podcast, it is the same size as a candy bar. What? The SSD is the same what size. is a candy bar it's only about like 
something about fat pig. So, so basically, put put your put the thumb to the uh, okay, put the thumb and index finger of one hand into the thumb and index finger of your other hand. In other words, about the size of a chocolate bar. So a chocolate the, bar. Yeah. So the dimensions are twenty-two millimeters by eighty millimeters by nine millimeters. That's small. Yes. And I will show you this after the podcast is finished. Are you sure you're not going to eat it? <laughs> Considering that um, it was Pink Shirt Day yesterday and they were selling um, non anti bully pinky bars. Oh, really? Which I thought was actually quite novel. Yes. Because, I, cause like, for instance, I didn't wear Pink Shirt Day even though it's been. Oh, I've been wearing Pink Shirt Days quite periodically. Mm-hmm. Um, be- because of anti bullying. Mm hmm. Um, in, in regards of upgrades for RAM and all that sort of stuff for particular functions, say like um, launching Windows from the start button, mm-hmm. gaming, all that sort of stuff, it's it's amazing. It only takes 10 seconds to boot up. Oh, wow, that's about as fast as I <laughs> Yeah, so I'm like, ah, oh, what? Wow, that's speedy, is it? Oh my goodness, I used to have to drink coffee while I wait for my computer. Now I can just you know, start, my, start my computer and start working. No time for coffee anymore. Yeah. So, like, if we compare gaming as well, on my laptop, um, I know this is not a very big title, mm-hmm. but we'll go with Street Fighter X Tekken, which is a fighting game. Oh, yeah? I used to run it with the background turned off. Mm-hmm. Um, everything on low settings at 720p and it could just reach 60 frames a second oh yeah but with this I can run it at 1080 with high textures at 100 frames per second nice just yeah that's the best way I can compare the two um Tomb Raider instead of running at 24 frames at 720p it's running 55 frames at 1080p oh wow that's better than mine. Well, exactly because hey, it is it, it is a top desk boy. It is a desktop, whereas um, I have an ultra book, so which means everything is more confusing because everything has to fit into a smaller frame. Yes, and, and I got and my and my ultra books are like two or three years older too. Yeah, two yeah, years older. So because we've always had this discussion in regards to Sophie's new laptop, but I'm like I have to. What do you mean new? It's no, it's no longer new, Mike. It's my laptop. It no, 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 no. What it is. no, 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 no. We're talking about the upgrade here. Oh, yes. So, because of Sophie's expectations yeah. of wanting to get everything inside that small 13-inch frame, yeah. that you have to account for a few things to not be there. I know. But with that being said, I expect in two or three years' time, my dream laptop will exist. Yes. Because it's already starting to. Yes. Um, um, they actually did some um, testing, mm. and the current winner for a 13-inch laptop at the moment yeah. is a Surface Book 2. Yes, I've seen that. It's, it's, it's pretty much got everything I want. Almost. Almost. Almost everything I want. And, and because of the, co- of the way that the 13-inch mm. works... They can only put a um, ten fifty in there. Yeah, and which is only um, it's a two gigabyte card, I think, from memory. Um, so yeah, like if you talk about ten eighties and all that sort of stuff, it's very basic. Very basic, but what do you expect for something so small? Yes, if uh, you want a game, you do it on a desktop. Um, and if you also want to know that they have just brought out. The new Canon Lake chipset. Oh, yes. Uh, which is a 10 nanometer. Which generation? 8. Generation 8, okay. So it, it is um, it is the i3 I 20. Uh, no, i3 A321U. Mm. Um, which is a 10 nanometer chipset. Oh, wow. Which is, yeah. So, like, even with my desktop, that's a 10, that's a 12 nanometer chipset. 
but the reason why I specifically brought AMD is because I can just replace the chip and it'll still be fine. Yes. Intel has the innate ability to replace not only the chip, but also the motherboard with every increased generation. Yeah. They've got a bad habit of doing that. <laughs> yes. Lots of wastage. Yes. So, you, you know, apparently with the motherboard, it's good till 2020 at this stage. Oh, yeah? Um, which is good for me at the moment. Oh, yeah. So, in saying that, what do you think about that? This, uh, this computer's cool. Yes. There's no RGB and all that sort of stuff. No. RGBiv. Yeah, no fancy lights. No. And I think Can't so. keep you awake at night. Yeah, exactly. No anime boobs in it. <laughs> there, actually, wait. There could be anime boobs in it. Yeah, because you haven't seen it yet. What are you hiding? <laughs> are you hiding like ten gigs of lesbian porn? It is. It is a Pandora's anime box. Oh right. Okay. <laughs> but seriously though, um, Mike, how come anime is so uh open slash lured slash uh <laughs> how should I explain this um. Not uptight or how come they're more likely to show fantasies of straight men? Yes. Than most other mediums. How come they're more um uh, accommodating of their wants? Now, 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 it's it, it, it's funny that you took forever <laughs> to even construct the, the right thoughts. In my mind, I'm like, why are men open to some sweet, sweet opies? <laughs> so if you don't know what uh, opie is, it is Japanese for boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Fun bags. <laughs> Fun, Fun bags. Yes. <laughs> Um, you know, uh, or milkshake bars. Milkshake. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to have a copyright site from uh, Kalisa about that. Oh, um, no. <laughs> Any, anyway, so, uh, no, I, it did not take me that long to actually construct my thoughts, but I absolutely love making up terms just to watch you laugh. <laughs> because you were basically giggling with every itineration of my statement. Yes. Um, How come anime is so... I don't know. Uh, open, I suppose. Uh, you, you, about those things. Okay, you have to accept the demographic. You. But not necessarily me. You are the you are the perfect core demographic, though. Okay. Uh, uh, well, okay. True. Yeah. But it's it's because you're the stereotypical demographic. I'm sorry. It's it, it's because the way that norms exist for males. Mm. Um, okay, the, the the best way I, I describe it is that I would rather see a cartoon version mm. of that rather than going to a strip bar mm. and seeing the judgmental looks, which is actually quite the popular thing to talk about at the moment because of what happened at Hamilton mm. and what of their employees have been openly saying about their particular practices. Right. So if you don't know, Calendar Girls in Hamilton, which is halfway up Victoria Street because I know where it is. Mm. I haven't been in there, but I know where it is. Um, actually caught fire oh. last weekend. Um, I actually thought it was actually quite funny. Um, I think it's on the corner of... Steamy Encounters? Um, corner of Alexandra Street and Victoria Street in Hamilton. Mm. Oh, yeah? Um, I used to walk past there all the time on my walks home, <laughs> per se. 
um, from partying all night and having to walk home because I spent my last seven dollars on a drink rather than getting a taxi home. Yeah. Um, which is fine because it was a different time. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and you were a big guy. No one could have cost you. Well, exactly. Mm. Um, and apparently there are particular open practices that have been in the news over the last week in regards to um, fines about stripping etiquette. Mm -hmm. So um, a person would be fined if if they had clothes on. Really? Yes. They are actually incentivised to dance naked. Oh, man. Yes. Which I think is is very problematic considering our society. Yeah. Um, do I think that it's wrong? Of course I think it's wrong, but... I mean, the women should actually dictate how they work. Yes. It's their bodies. Yes, but at the same time... You, you have to accept a few things if you're going to work for these sorts of establishments. Yes. Um, which is which is very disappointing. And, and, you know, speaking of that sort of construct, that is the reason why that I would rather see a cartoon version of that than rather go and see it physically. I, I do not like having to go into a strip joint. I, I, because it, you think that the women are not... There. So you think that they're going, that they're working against the will. Yes. Is that how you feel? Yes. Uh, that's a bit patronistic. Yes, it is. It is patronistic. <laughs> yes. But you can't get that chivalry out of you, can you? No, you can't. There, 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 there are certain biological urges a person has, let's just say that. Yeah, so you feel uncomfortable being... You feel comfortable lusting after a person. Yes. And that's why it's safer to do it against a cartoon. Yes. Rather than doing it against an individual. Right. Because with a cartoon, at least you can assume that the cartoon does not have feelings. Correct. But with that said, that's, you still did not answer my question. Why? How come anime is more open about those sorts of things? Um... You, well, you have to accept that a person that would watch those particular things, like yeah. I said, would be more likely to watch that than they would to go out to a strip joint. Because they are more introverted and, and lusting over that oh, yeah? than being extrovertedly um, being the proverbial creep, if you will. So, it's, so there's a market for... Anime porn, essentially. Yes. So, like, like for instance, would you, as a society, mm -hmm. and I know this is a bad, bad, bad example, <laughs> <laughs> would you rather see a person lusting over anime porn mm -hmm. or borderline being rapey over a woman? Hmm. They can be as bad as each other, but I'd rather they do it over an inanimate object than the, an actual person. And, and in saying that, you, you, you know, th there is a lot of similarities between the subject mm -hmm. and saying that video games cause violence. No. Correlation does not equal causation. <laughs> yes, but you can, you, you can sort of relate those sort of constructs together. Yes. Ooh, this, these bagels are making me thirsty. I should probably stop eating them. Because they are they are very dry baby boys. Mm. <laughs> I mean, it's drier than my humour and saying something. <laughs> anyway, so... <clears throat> but... <coughs> How come the Japanese are... Uh, anime are more open to showing those boobs as opposed to say western animation Be <sighs> P 
Probably because in Eastern animation styles, in regards to the R eighteen ness, mm-hmm. that the general population of that would be more introverted. I see, like the Hikikomori and, so, and things like that. Yes. Did I say that right? Hikikomori or something? Um, well, uh, I'm ashamed that there is going to be some mistranslation, but we get the point. Yeah. Um, sorry. How am I supposed to zoom? Oh my god, they just made it worse. It's okay, don't worry about it. Okay. Alright, so... Oh, goodness, what's happening here? What are you doing? Why is it speeding up? Because you have actually magnified it the other way. There we go. That's more. <laughs> okay, that's a bit more manageable. Okay, so the Japanese, they are more introverted and therefore they are more likely to need anime porn. Yes, because they, they are not getting the satisfaction from from and from lusting over a particular person i see and you know um japan is a very um is a very good case study of the potential of what may happen in future populations oh yeah because of how males and females uh, expectations are of the opposite sex mm-hmm. Um, and the ideals that they have in a potential partner, we have gone to the um, we have, we have gone to a state where Japan's population is decreasing significantly due to the falling birth rates. Yeah, and you could use that example of um of what is happening in Western society in the moment. Okay. Because this is the first time in human history where the Western country's birth rate is less than two. Which is the replacement rate. Yes. So no matter what, um, I, I, I'm not going to say that we accept that seven billion people in this world is unsustainable mm-hmm. um, and we are actively trying to decrease that at the cost of our own lives yeah <laughs> okay so what is the most ridiculous anime style you've seen in terms of um, female bodies I mean, I've seen the ideal of, you know, um, size G k- k- kabunga dunkers. The problem is with that, Sophie. Yeah? I have just finished a marathon of watching the last three seasons of the most ridiculous anime ever. I assume you have needs, right? Yes, but it was, <laughs> but it was at, 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 at the same time, I accept that it is ridiculous. So what is the? It is called High School DXD. What is that supposed to mean? It is in a high school setting. Yeah. It is a devil's high school. Oh! <laughs> and it is, yeah, it is a very strange... Story. I lit. assume it's for succubi and incubi. No, 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 no. Um, um, and, and it's funny enough the, um, the way that devils work. Yes. Is off the chess system. Chess. Chess system. As in king, queen, pawn. Yes. Okay. In in, in regards to the. The institution of your game. Oh, yeah? So, like, considering that you, a person has a particular power, and say, oh, if you align with me and you become a devil, yeah, I would let you become a bishop. 
I will let you become my rook. Ah, oh, yes. So they actually have what is known as raiding games, which is a glorified chess game. With real people. With real people. Who die. Kind of, yeah. Okay. Which is, yeah. So it, it has just been approved of a fourth season. Fabulous. And I am just starting it. Okay, so what's so ridiculous about the anime style? Because it is openly talking about the fun bags, if you will. Oh, yeah? Yes. So what do they do? And and they and the people admit that the males are perverts. Yeah. Inside the story. So they actually know that it actually goes very deep okay. within its story. Right, so um, what? Do, how do they treat breasts? Um, very pervertly. So they're like, instead of staring at the eyes, they stare at the chest. Yeah, so you don't even know the colour of the girl's eyes because they're staring at the chest all the time. But you might know the colour of her nipples. It's that bad, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah no, it's even worse than that. Okay. <laughs> so um, the, the, the main character, the main guy, has, has installed this power of one of the dragons. Yeah. So there, there was a battle between the devils, the angels, and the fallen angels. Mm. And the two dragons, the white dragon and the red dragon, absolutely screwed shit up. So four factions. No, no, no. It's like three factions and yeah. these two other people that can destroy all three factions. Oh, yes. So... And this is a secondary school setting. Yes. So this guy had become a devil. Yeah. Because he he didn't know it at the time, but he has the sacred gear of one of the particular dragons. Sacred gear? Sacred gear. Yeah. Of one of the red dragons. And that turned him into a devil. No, um, because of the king. Yeah. Which has one of the biggest busts in the anime. Yeah. Actually saved him and let him be all eight of her pawns. Oh, yeah? Yes. And the story goes on from there. So the biggest... So one of the highest ranking devils has saved the life of another fellow devil and turned him into her pawns. Yes. So her pawns, yes. Not prawns, so, pawns. so, so the king in this chess game, yeah, is the sister, is the daughter of Lucifer, yeah, yeah, who is at school age at this particular school that they're all at. Oh, I see. Lucifer's is of school age. Lucifer's sister, Lucifer, Lucifer's daughter, is attending a school. Yes, I see. For devils. No, just the school. Yeah. But it is a front that is accepting that that the people that are in this particular chess game all go to this particular school. Everyone in this chess game go chess game goes to the school. Yes, and it's not necessarily for devils. It's got devils. It's got no, no. Well, 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 you know, you know, it has a normal population. Yeah. But say thirty-two of them are devils. Oh, I see. Yes. Okay, so what is she like in her human form? In her... You mean the king? The king? The king. In her form. In her her form. Human form. Because it is Lucifer. Yeah? Lucifer's daughter. Lucifer's daughter, who is the king. Yes. What is her human form? Her human form is very long, red hair, Mm. and her dimensions, taking it from the song... Uh, Baby Got Back yeah. from Sir Mix-A-Lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. 36, 24, 36, but she is not 5'3". She's taller than 5'3". Oh, right. So she's tall, busty, hourglass figure. Yes. I see. And like me. Yeah. Or, or, as, or as Sir Mix-A-Lot would say, 36, 24, 36. Ha <laughs> ha. Only oh, she's far three, um, yeah. Because that thirty six twenty four thirty six 
comes from the original dimensions of Barbie figure. Oh! But in saying that, the dimensions of Barbie, based on those figures, yeah. assume that she was seven foot two. Oh, yes. Not only that, uh, they assume that she could walk and talk and... No, she can't walk. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but oh my god, I just want to get, I want to get my pink, pink Barbie car. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's how they assume all of the stuff, and the Red Dragon's mates—they even are worse perverted than him. Yeah. But he's the one getting most of the action. So does he have sex all the time? No. Oh. Let's just say... Th- he only gets the steer. No, 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 no. I want to explain, explain, No, 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 explain. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to explain. Yeah. Um, in, in most mornings in this anime... Yeah? When he wakes up, he he wakes up to topless women of the particular chess game. It's like the rooks and the... Yeah, so like a rook, the king, and the queen would... Like he would wake up and the all there and the all topless. So who's the queen in this regard? The queen is... <sighs> okay. The, the queen is half fallen angel, half devil. Ah, oh, yes. Yes. So, what's the point of this chess game? Well, well, they all have different powers. Oh, yeah. And just like any sort of chess game, it, it, it increases their power to a certain point. And who... Do they defeat anyone in the chess games? Or is it yeah, 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 yeah. Well, they have a particular thing called a raiding game. Oh, yeah? Where they go up against people with... Their, with have their other chess pieces. They're caught, so yes. to speak. So you know, you know, fallen angels are just rebels of, of angels, and but but they don't have a criteria. Oh yeah. Devils have the chess pieces, and angels have the card system. Oh yes. So like ace, king, queen, jack. Joker. Not Joker. No jokers. Yeah. And um, they all go to this high school. It's a secondary school where they have shenanigans and... Yes. How much action does the protagonist have? What type of action does he get? What do you mean by action? <laughs> yes, good point, good point. What, what type of action does he usually get? Um, as in fighting action or are we talking about groping action? Groping? Groping action. Groping it is. Okay. Gro- Sexual action. Okay. So so it is only touching. Yes. But the problem with him, with him is that his power increases by double. Yeah. Whenever he t- when he crosses a threshold of touching a particular person's bosoms. Fun bags, <laughs> etc. Milkshake bars, yes. breasts. Yes, which is actually pretty funny. So he has to touch someone's breasts in order to actually gain powers. Yes, yeah, so like the king would say, I will let you do anything you want to me. And he completely powers up like crazy. Right. And that's why he's like a topless woman, so he can gain more power. Yes. Right. <laughs> I know this is crazy. But here's my number. <laughs> So call me maybe. Yes. So in saying that, we should end the podcast there. With the mentions of breasts. Mm. Everyone has them. Oh, in which case, guys, um, please donate to the um, Breast Cancer Foundation. Yes. Men included, because apparently 1% of breast cancer cases are of men. Yes. So the, 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 this is the um, the, so this is the As Yet Undecided podcast. You can contact Sophie on Sophie9709. There are no nudes. Or you can contact the pervert, me, on the Marnus, T-H-E-M-A-R-N-U-S. Who actually have size B cups? No, thank you. Thank you. No, actually. Yeah? 57 A's. 
to be honest. 57 A's? 57 A's. Are you sure? Yes, I am positive. How do you know? Someone has told me this. <laughs> Someone has you told me You have bigger this. breasts than me. 57 A's. You have bigger breasts than me. Yeah, because I have a bigger chest than you. But you're a man. Exactly. Why do you have bigger breasts? Anyway, um, I believe um, Mike here might have some nudes. I'm not too sure. And um, if you do have any complaints about today, don't bother. But otherwise, you may be contacted on um, as the underside podcast at gmail.com or at AYU podcast at AYU podcast. Have a nice evening, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, and please. Calm your fun bags down. <laughs> yes. Calm your fun bags down. <laughs>